I have spent this morning thinking about how I'm going to start this vlog. It's been a few weeks and to be honest, I haven't got anything planned other than us hanging out and having a catch up. I say that, I do have one thing to show you. Our new chair came a couple of days ago for um, in here to replace the gray one that we had. I ordered this back in November time. I knew I wanted something cream um, because I thought it would go really nice with the green sofa. And actually when Delilah first saw the chair, she said, that she thought the cream went really nice with the sofa um, and the Christmas tree because we, we only took the Christmas tree down a few days ago and um, yeah she said that the cream goes really nice with the green of the Christmas tree and the sofa. I thought it was so funny she said that because that's exactly um, what I thought. I'm going to perch myself here, it's actually really comfy, it's a lot lower than I thought it was going to be. My bottom perfectly fits in there and it's um it's almost like the chair is giving you a hug i've never known quite how to pronounce this fabric is it boot clay boot clay so it's in a cream boot clay i've completely forgotten where i ordered this from but i will leave a link to their website i'm not entirely sure like, i don't know if i feel 100 percent comfortable recommending them to you and um, only because my experience with their customer service wasn't great so i i had actually ordered this chair back in maybe september time when they had a sale and then a few days later i had an email to say that they had over ordered and they didn't have enough stock so they refunded me when i was trying to get through to customer service it was like talking to a brick wall um it, it was so difficult i was so set on having this style. My only other option was the one from Soho Home, which is about three times the price. And it's turned up in good condition. I'm really happy with it. Although it's actually a little bit wider than our other one, it actually opens up the room a lot more. Before it was quite a, well, it wasn't a squeeze, but it felt a bit, it felt a bit awkward walking through this door space. I think because this is curved and it's a bit lower, it just seems to take up less room um so it just kind of it opens this space up a bit more it just sort of flows a bit more rather than it being really clunky and awkward and I'm, I'm so happy with how our living room has come together the past few months the green velvet sofa and the cream boucle different textures also the colors warm it up it was so cool with the gray i get questions sometimes about the radiator cover um so I maybe I'll link the vlog in the description. I bought the radiator cover and then I bought the cane webbing separately and I just stapled it in to those um <laughs> what do you call them? Windows? Christmas feels like a distant memory, but um how how was everyone's Christmas? Um we we got Christmas, but then we had to isolate for the rest of the holidays. That seems to be the case for every other person I saw on Instagram, every other person I spoke to. Also, I should quickly mention um, this, this poor plant is looking a little bit frazzled. I think when we moved it into the kitchen, it kind of went into shock and a few of the leaves um, have died. That and the fact that I, um, I think I only watered it maybe once. So that probably didn't help. But I actually, I think I would quite like um, a, sort of a, a thinner, taller plant to go here is it bird bird of paradise banana palm something like that anyway yes christmas we both tested before we went over to doug's parents on christmas day obviously we were both negative and on doug's test there wasn't even there wasn't even the faintest indication not even the faintest line we spent christmas day and boxing day because we stayed the night at his parents and then we came back in the afternoon my mum came round and we had our Christmas with her. And then the day after Boxing Day, Doug was saying that his um, throat felt a bit strange. He took a lateral flow and he got a big red positive. I mentioned this on Instagram and um, lots of you were sending your love and asking how Doug was. He was fine, no symptoms. He felt a little bit iffy the first day. We only had to isolate for seven days because Doug um, had two negatives on day six and seven, so, something like that. We did manage to go ice skating. That was the one thing we were looking forward to doing this year because we didn't get to do it last year. And then I thought, oh no, 
Delilah was really looking forward to going ice skating and we're not going to be able to do it um, but we managed to do it on the very last day the ice rink was open and the day before Doug went back to work so yeah um, it was a very quiet one for us felt very lucky that we got Christmas with our families also very grateful that Doug didn't give it to anyone um, because his grandparents were there we also saw my grandma the day before Christmas no Christmas Eve obviously we saw my mum and um, yeah, we saw all of Doug's family and no one has tested positive I thought at some point I was going to test positive and still to this day um, I haven't caught it I don't know how Doug didn't give it to me because if he was if he, if he was going to give it to anyone it was going to be um, me but I think I mostly have the vaccine to thank for that I'm going to save any more nattering for later I'm going to get out and um, enjoy this lovely weather that we've been having this week after a really grey couple of weeks it's been so nice to have this sunshine thought it'd be nice to get out go into town um, bring you along with me nothing new nothing we haven't um, done many times before I have <laughs> somewhere somewhere in here I have a Waterstones voucher and um, so I thought we could go to Waterstones and have a mooch around there up a coffee it is a nice coffee um i really just really fancied a nice coffee i know it's it's one degrees outside it's january completely out of coffee i've even gone through my emergency stash i'm really hoping um, the postman delivers my um coffee subscription today i also picked myself up some flowers i had my heart set on getting some anemones i've seen them in the shops lots recently they were in mns yesterday the day before and i thought i'll go get myself some on friday but there weren't any there today i got myself some hyacinths i think they're going to be pale pink yeah the reason i really wanted i really wanted anemones because i thought it would be perfect for these vases that I got on my birthday and I think the hyacinths will probably probably be too big um oh it's birthday thought it brightened up the living room a bit now the Christmas decorations are down oh that it might work unless they're a bit too heavy we'll see they might work in there let me show you the books that I've got um, I wanted to pick up luster the only version they had also if anyone else terrible at finding books in bookshops i swear i try i try and i can never i could go in alphabetical order and i'm trying to find them and i just can't find them i might always have to ask if i'm looking for a specific book the only reason i didn't get it is because it was a waterstones special edition and the edge of the pages um were um colored in this sort of bright orangey red color and i didn't think it would be an issue but when i was flicking through the book i thought actually i think that's quite um not necessarily distracting but it's not i don't really want to see bright red as i'm trying to read there was something about it i didn't like so um i'll get it another time okay but um i picked up a few books um maybe let's take let's take these into the living room i did get a few more books over christmas i don't know if you can tell which ones so, hang on should i show you if you're interested in any of these i'll link them in the description or at least 
link them so you've you've got the title um in case you didn't quite get it um when i when i show you the book we have this one here wayward life's beautiful experiments yeah that is right i do have a tendency to i'll sort of I do, I do it I do it all the time I've always done it I'll think I'll assume I'll sort of sort of just quickly look at a word and I'll, I'll assume it's written or spelt or said a certain way and then it's a completely different word so for example um this book here breasts and eggs when I was doing my book collection video um I said breakfast and eggs because my brain just I don't know. My brain saw eggs and thought, and saw the bruh, and just thought it was breakfast and eggs, and it's not, it's breast and eggs. If I ever do that and you're thinking, huh, just ignore me. What else? Oh, this is sort of turning into a mini book haul, isn't it? Oh, I have this one as well. Um, Lonely Castle in the Mirror. I really, I mean, I was, I'm not gonna lie, I was drawn in by the cover. It's such a beautiful book cover. Judging by reviews, it's quite a slow one. We also have The Feast by Margaret Kennedy. It's really like the sound of it. And then we have these um, Rachel Cusk books. Um, I have, so I bought, I bought, I bought these in a set, although I did see um, more of her books in Waterstones earlier on today. So we've got Kudos Outline. I just really love I mean, how, how nice are the covers? They're just so simple, but effective. And um, transit, I think these would be some really nice, shorter summer reads. Actually, I was gonna put you up there, but I reckon I could put you, put you there and come sit here. Oh, no, maybe. Mm. <laughs> Guys, I, I have been sleeping dreadfully recently and um, this lighting is making, it's not making me look tired, it's just revealing how tired my face really is. On the sofa, I don't know if you can see, but please ignore any blotches on the wall. Um, I spilt my coffee the other week. Um, I really stupidly um, forgot that I had maybe about this much coffee left. I had my blanket and um, I think I was playing on my Switch. I forgot that I had the coffee there. I never do that. I never do that, but I think it had been there a while. I then thought, right, I'm gonna get up and get ready. And I just pulled the blanket off of me and it went all over the floor. It actually went on the sofa as well. And can I say, I've spilt I've actually spilled coffee a couple of times on the sofa. I swear, I can't have anything new without christening it with coffee. When I moved into my first flat, within the first day or two, I spilt coffee all over the bedroom floor. When we first moved in here, within about a week of living here, I dropped a cup of coffee in the kitchen, which went everywhere. Get a new sofa, spill coffee on the sofa. I'm really not I'm not that clumsy, um, but yeah, I mean, I'm staying clear of coffee and the chair over there. Um, but this sofa, the liquid, it just repels the liquid, you just wipe it off, um, it's brilliant. Anyway, um, that's why there's coffee up the wall. I've said it a million times, but it's not a good idea to paint your whole house in matte emulsion um, that isn't wipeable because I can't wipe those, I can't wipe those coffee stains off, I've tried, um, so I'm gonna have to paint over them. My goodness, right, let me show you the, show you, actually show you the books. First one I picked up was Clever Girl. So we've got that one, we've got um, Islands of Mercy. I read the blurb and I thought, yes, that sounds interesting. So it says it's about, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna briefly read the blurb for, for this one. Extraordinary woman, renowned for her restorative skills, is convinced that some other destiny will one day show itself to her. But when Jane finds herself torn between a dangerous affair with a female lover and the promise of a conventional marriage to an apparently respectable doctor, her desires begin to lead her towards a future she had never imagined. And I just thought it sounded interesting. I love that it's set in Bath. And then this one caught my eye. How cool is this book cover? I've never seen this before. So it sort of um, folds into the book. It's called The Blue Flower by Pen um, Penelope Fitzgerald. The reviews say wise and ironic, funny and humane. Fitzgerald is a wonderful, wonderful writer, a masterpiece, um, elegant, inventive, hilarious. Um, so I just thought just thought that sounded like a good book. Um, so yeah, that's my, um, that's my mini book haul. I'm really looking forward to getting through um, some of the books in my collection this year. I'm hoping I can 
weave these into these gorgeous vases. Then I'm gonna get myself some lunch. I'm thinking I might have one of these all plants. Oh no, I've got a few, I've got a couple, got a couple more in the freezer outside, and then we've got a few in here. I might have one of these all plants meals. I've seen so many people talking about all plants um, on Instagram recently. We've been using them for I want to say coming on a couple of years now. I'm gonna step away from the fridge because it's been really noisy. Couldn't tell you how many um, orders I've placed with them over the last couple of years. But then a few months ago, they got hold of me and asked if they could um, send us some meals. And I said, absolutely. They'd sent individual portion meals, so like one portion meals. And I don't know why I've never thought, because we always order the two two portions so um, Doug and I can share in the evenings um, but I don't know why I've never thought to order myself some single portion meals to occasionally have for my lunch because as I've said so many times I'm um, lunch is my least favourite meal of the day because I can never think what to have for it so yeah um, the other week I ordered myself some um, single portion ready meals as well from them I can leave my discount code in the description um, because I did that I don't know about a year ago now and I still get the odd email saying that um, people have used the um, the discount code from a vlog that was up I don't know probably sort of last March time can you hear that I think next door are having some windows replaced um, so yeah, excuse excuse the drilling oh these look quite cute yeah I'll use oh yeah Cute. Oh, do I need to trim? Oh, I probably need to trim those a little bit. Actually, I know I've got some avocados that need loosening up. And these, excuse the state of our snacks cupboard um, or drawer. Picked these up the other day. They're the um, loaded New York bakery bagels with poppy and sesame seeds, caramelised red onion and roasted garlic. Um, Doug had one the other day and I'm yet to try one. So actually, I think I'm going to have one of these with some avocado. Is this avocado a good one? Because I've been having some terrible avocados recently. Eh, it's not too bad. Yeah, I need some butter. To be honest, it really did. It's fine with avocado alone. But I just feel like, just feel like the bagel needs just a little bit of softening up. Um, I've toasted it because it's just 10 times nicer when it's um, slightly warm and toasty. I've just remembered a comment that I had, I think it was from the last vlog, it was the last vlogmas, it was on my birthday, and I was, um, again, making a bagel. And um, someone someone left a comment, and I th and I, I couldn't work out what they were talking about. And then I realized they were talking about how I close the bagel packaging again. So you can tell that Doug had the first bagel because he's just, put a clip around it. I usually twist it and then I push I push the packaging into the hole and then it keeps it nice and sealed and you don't need to faff around with clips. I'm sure I'm not the first person to do that but there's a little bagel hack for you if you um if you want to give it a go. I never thought anything of it until one of you mentioned it. Can confirm bagel was a good eight eight or nine out of ten um yeah it was quite tasty i'll have it again this one is back from school and <laughs> the silly sausage left her coat at school couldn't find it left it in the playground so we waited outside for a while whilst her teacher went to go find it they found it and um one of the one of the mums whatsapped me and said that they found it and um they're just going to leave it on her hanger for monday she's busy doing something the hammer beads that she has the beads that you use We've never ironed them, but you can iron them to make. They're like beads that you, I don't know how to explain them, but there's lots of little beads as you can hear. And um, she, majority of the time, she ends up playing with them in her kitchen with all her kitchen set. Um, and um, they get everywhere. It's just about to get changed into my joggers. Um, but before I do, I thought I would mention these jeans. I said on my Instagram that I'd finally found the perfect pair of straight leg jeans to which a fair few of you messaged me um, asking where they were from these are from and other stories they're a they're sort of yeah I would say I would say they were mid 
mid high rise mine are cropped they're the cropped version they're the uh what are they called i'll leave a link to them i want to say the favorite cut or something along those lines and these are the cropped ones which are a really good length on me perfect to wear with boots and maybe so i'm looking at them now to be honest actually they're probably they would be good with sandals as well i'm not too sure how i feel about them with high top converse but yeah finally i have found a straight leg jean which is not too baggy on my legs my legs are definitely a smaller size than my tummy hip bum area my levi ribcage jeans are straight leg but i i think generally they're quite they're a slightly baggier straight leg so these are more fitted without being skinny and they this is a strange angle they don't have a raw hem because so i really wanted to find jeans that didn't have a raw hem and they're just slightly baggy around the ankle and just exactly what i was looking for to see my hair in the mirror there it's grown so much since i had it cut i'm really i'm tempted to go back to having it about here I, I will never say never, but I don't plan anytime soon to ever have it short again. I mean, I've been here, I've been here, here, here. But I was looking back at photos from a couple of years ago and I really liked it where my hair was sort of around here. It just, it was a little bit more fun to style in terms of if I wanted to do a loose wave. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, anyway <laughs> classic me going off topic. Size wise, I would say they are very similar to Levi size in in the sense that I currently wear my 26 waist jeans from Levi's. These are also a 26. Oh, pretend, where do, you, oh, where do you want me to go? I'm being instructed to go on the sofa. Some of you may have noticed I kept this jumper that I tried on at some point during Vlogmas. Ooh, thank you. I'm really glad I kept it because it's so comfy. It's really soft. I've only got a bra on underneath this. Um, it's not scratchy at all. It's really warm, which is the reason I've only got a bra on with it. It's a good cream colour. It's not too, you know, sometimes cream jumpers, especially wool cream jumpers, can be, sometimes be a bit yellow. I think these sleeves are meant to be quite big, um, but they're very long on me. I'm, but um, most sleeves are usually quite long on me. These can get a bit, a bit annoying, so I have to roll them up when I'm doing um, something. It's so nice to be back and um having having a good old chat and catch up i have quite a few new subscribers um, who subscribed towards the end of december so welcome um i also had um quite a uh, a few new followers on instagram as well because um at some point <laughs> at some point at the end of last month zoe mentioned me on her instagram story as one of her favorite vlogmases to watch I had an influx of new followers and um subscribers so if you are one of those hello um thank you for subscribing i hope you enjoy the vlogs and you um want to stick around Beast. It's served. thank you do you want your hot dog i will have yes i will have my hot dog i want a mushroom yum, yum, yum. <laughs> all done. All done. All done. Do you want some cheese? Yeah, all done. All done. All done. <laughs> Look at that evening light. The sunset shadows. I wish every winter day could be super chilly and sunny like today. But then I guess if we didn't have the really grey days, then um, we probably wouldn't appreciate these beautiful sunny ones quite as much. I realised earlier that um, when I was vlogging you may have seen a chair over there with a bunch of clean washing that needs to be folded and put away and then that's the chair that used to be in the living room which we're going to donate over the weekend. I'm sticking some washing on now. I always try and do it on a Friday otherwise I forget to do it over the weekend and then it comes to a Sunday evening and I think I've not washed any of Delilah's uniform and um, so I like to do it now Friday evening also it gives it enough time to dry because during the winter in the UK washing takes so long to dry I just remembered my mum 
tried to call me earlier. I should probably call her back in a bit. I was just thinking about how um, how much I'm looking forward to this year. I mean, usually, I mean, usually I go into the new year uh, with quite quite a lot of dread. I actually feel I usually feel very overwhelmed at the prospect of a new year, um, and I suppose I feel quite overwhelmed now. Um, but um, I already have lots of things I'm looking forward to. We have a lot of, I need to turn the light on, I can't really see, even though I find this lighting, um, as the sun's going down, I always find it the most calming. Um, I just find it very peaceful. Actually, I don't think there's many darks to wash. Oh, we'll see. Anyway, what was I saying? Yeah, so yeah, I am overwhelmed by this year, but I have lots to look forward to. It's so silly, isn't it? I'm sure lots of you also feel quite, I feel like you have two people, you have the people who go into the new year thinking, thinking new year, lots of exciting new opportunities, but then you have others who feel completely overwhelmed by the prospect. And really, it doesn't, well, yes, the calendar's change, but it doesn't really change anything. Got a few gigs booked. We have, we've got tickets to transit um, in July, um, which is a festival in Glasgow. I've got seeing Billie Eilish in April. We are seeing Coldplay in, I want to say Doug's sister books Coldplay. I, I think it's September. Got a few things in the works that I'm, um, that I'm not gonna um, talk about for a while, so I won't, I won't dwell on it because I know how annoying that is when vloggers say that they've got something exciting planned and they don't say anything. Yeah, I'm gonna be working on something um, very exciting. Of course, I'm finally going to be able to drive and talking of driving i have my first lesson tomorrow so i know you can't see me right now i was initially going through pass me fast i did my theory test through them back in october they booked my test for me which is for the um start of march but they couldn't find me an instructor and i don't quite know how it works they tidy this stuff up that delilah and i were playing with earlier i oh i should really probably turn a light on shouldn't i let me turn the light on from what I can imagine, um, when they're trying to find you an, an instructor, I reckon there are instructors on there, like registered with them that are happy, because I'm guessing they take commission, that are happy to work with them, um, but they're, you, that won't be everyone in your area. And I decided, because I hadn't really heard much from Pass Me Fast and they couldn't find me an instructor, I decided to try and find my own instructor. Oh, we've had our coffee delivered. Thank goodness, because I was starting to think, mm, I'm not going to have any coffee for tomorrow morning. The coffee that I've been ordering for ages. And I still get people asking me um, where I get it from. It's from Grind. They come in these packs and they are compostable and um yeah i just i just I, I enjoy their coffee i like their coffee and um the pods are compostable so perfect you okay sausage yeah yeah just in just in there watching annie basically i looked around to find my own instructor a few places never got back to me and then someone that i mes messaged um i emailed someone last week she got back to me and said um no problem um leave leave your phone number with me and I will try and find an instructor for you. She told me that I'd probably be waiting a few weeks. Then I had a very lovely man call me the same the same day and um, that evening and he said oh I could um I could start we could oh god um we could start lessons next Saturday. Obviously once this video is up I would have had my first lesson and hopefully it would go um, it would have gone okay so i'm getting tired so my speech i'm getting very slow at talking so fingers crossed i'll be driving in a couple of months <laughs> i'm just trying to stay positive i'm like it will i'm just thinking it will happen if i just keep positive about it i'm not really thinking what if what if because ideally i don't want to fail um because then i'll have to wait however long for another test to come up positive thinking and i'm very i am i'm a little bit hesitant about tomorrow but i'm i think i'm more i'm more excited than i am nervous i think she says completely forgot that um we're also going to isle of sky at the end of may got some really fun things lined up
Kim and Doug are going climbing. Um, and then I missed your call again. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that works for her. Yeah, she'll like that. She won't play Monopoly with me anymore because every time she starts to lose just a little bit, she <laughs> doesn't want to play anymore. Yeah. Are you wanting a bedtime story? <laughs> yes. Looking fabulous with all your jewellery on. I just got off the phone to my mum. I was talking to her about um, arrangements for tomorrow. She's going to have Delilah for the afternoon and um, evening whilst we go out in the evening for dog's mum's birthday meal. So yeah, that'd be nice. I'm looking forward to that. Some bright light. Here's a night light. A little ray to calm your fright. <laughs> you know some of you like to see which um, which books Delilah has and this is a this is a new one. She got some new books for Christmas from um, friends and family this being one of them this is a really cute one this is all about the um the tree that gets gifted um to london from um norway i got her this one it's called ella's night lights it's so beautifully illustrated and it's such a sweet story it's all about a moth called ella she helps everyone else but all she wants is to be able to see the sunrise but she can't because she's, she's a moth and it would burn her wings really sweet book and i have to say it's probably um one of my favorite books of hers. Uh, yeah. do you like your yoto one yeah i like gorgeous having a very fancy dinner of fish fingers leon fries broccoli and baked beans neither of us could decide what we wanted and um we thought let's just make fish fingers I'm kind of wishing i'd done mashed potato it's too late now so we'll just we'll just have the leon fries dog should be back soon which means i don't have to wait too long to watch afterlife the new season i think it's season three um was released today on netflix i'm just gonna stick some youtube on whilst i wait for dog to get home i'm not waiting to start my dinner because I'm hungry and I want to eat. So I've stuck his um I've stuck his in the oven to keep warm and um, I'm gonna start mine now. I don't think it's gonna be much longer. As of next week I was um well I was thinking of doing a weekly vlog but then I thought I might um instead of doing that I might film I might just film one, two, maybe three days together, just film until I um think I've got enough for a vlog yeah i thought i'd do that for the next um or for at least the rest of this month and next month that way i feel like it also mixes things up a bit rather than it being too monotonous if there's anything you'd like to um particularly see or see more of or um i i, I want to do some sort of, i want to i really want to organize my um my wardrobe i just haven't quite figured out a good way to organize stuff and it just gets messy always gets messy i tidy it and it gets messy and i just need to work out a good system that works and then it won't get messy so yeah i'm going to do stuff like that and obviously we're going to do more house stuff but yeah um let me know if there's anything in particular you would like to see doug's home now so we've stuck afterlife on i've got myself a mars ice cream and i'm going to say goodbye i will see you in the next one.